Better? Okay. Yeah. So, final destination. Definitely not a good stage for Zard, uh, by any means. But um, I don't think he wants to go on platform stages when there's a Rosalina in front of him. Yeah, I'm wondering how he can land on this stage, actually. Yeah, if he doesn't have a pocket GD to help him land, I don't think he will. He'll probably retreat to the edge. For now, the red team has all the stage control. Yeah, forced to retreat to the edge, basically. Like uh, the walls that uh, Rosalina creates with the uppers. Fade offs. Luma is out of here. Nope. Oh, the fly technique. This is if back here just barely able to survive that. So he's back on stage. Nif and uh, Omika have a lot of experience. They're from the same region. They're the two best players that basically always meet in grand finals. And haven't teamed all that much, so kind of used to playing each other in teams. Tony's still on his first talk. And finally losing his, his first talk to a start up smash. Playing two uh, one versus one games here. Yeah, a lot of uh, conversions. The blue team is really struggling to get a field right now, and they're close one. Immediately, I uh, tried to make Omika pay with uh, a dash attack, but obviously, we're not to close the game. Again, just covering uh, these landings. Strong lead, but you must never. Yeah, we can see the fart just now being fully charged. Never count while you're out. Okay, at least, at least his stock and rage are gone. Same time. That team is just making much more use of stage control when they do get it than a blue team. Oh, and just as I say that. <laughs> yeah, the jank from Luma. Just a rather cool DI from, uh, from Fire. I mean, the second. Yeah, he probably DI'd the upper of Rosalina instead of the Luma pair. Yeah, and it just went straight up. And so, yeah, doesn't make much. Not, not that important to play a, a heavyweight when you die at like 70. Terrible situation, Azad. Forced to retreat to the edge. Panic here, B just cannot land and cannot go help Neef. This might be it, yep. Just a fast forward pair, does not go to. Doesn't try anything fancy. Well, that was a pretty convincing uh, win. Yeah, not um, a bit uh, a bit shaky on the blue team's part because, uh, in particular, I was thinking that okay, they don't have the platforms and they they won't get the juggles with uh, Rosalina, but um, they definitely should be able to like negate Zod at times. You know, uh, like for for the upcoming ten, se ten seconds. You're not landing, so we can pressure uh, Didi. You have to retreat to the edge, and we can get something going. But uh, even when um, they prevented um, Zard fire from landing, they didn't do really anything to to Didi. To Didi. Yeah, yeah, Didi was just flying around the stage without to get in it. Just too much, uh, too much range in that fair. Because he wasn't really able to deal with it, even though he has tons of experience in the matchups and outruns here. So the platform kick, definitely um, in terms of disadvantage state, it will be absolutely horrendous for um, for Zad. Uh, even against um, Wario, he'll get bit uh, when he lands on the, on the platforms, but especially Rosalina. But on the other hand, it does give them uh, earlier kills. With, uh, like when he's on the platform, he can do a piece. Yep. 
I think we haven't seen any setups in two after the previous game. Yeah, absolutely. We, we've seen uh, one raft, and I wasn't looking at the time, I just heard the noise. But uh, judging how uh, close uh, Nif went after the noise, I probably just jumped away. But uh, didn't get hit. I remember back in Brawl when uh, Anthony already played the character that uh, some, some commentators uh, pointed at the fact that he wins games where he runs spots and he loses uh, when he doesn't. Like he's uh, really, uh, not only is it so good to get uh, an early kill, but it's also, it's also revealing of how well he plays the spacing in neutral game. There's a game. Zard still hanging on to its stock, which is actually super scary. Okay, I'm smash would have killed anyway, but he right here. Oh no, goes was a jump. Uh, little uh, communication problem in the red team. One, one eighty-four. This is. The angriest Zard I've ever seen. Okay, that's it. Finally, blue team can breathe a little easier now. While you won't kill quite just yet, except for one very strong hit from Zard. Is, is good even in this, in this situation to, to get stage control. Like uh, it can prevent Nif and uh, Fire from reaching the center of the stage, but uh, it's not. It, 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 it doesn't uh, convert into anything. Uh, makes them look so easy. Like did this for a throw. You, it's not bad for any means, but it's pretty quick. But uh, Fire has, ju has just been hitting all the uppers. And he's still alive, yep. No, no rage on Wario. I wasn't really sure, to be honest, because uh, I'm guessing uh, that any wanted to hit him with uh, the other way, like to send him to the left. Not ready. Boyo's down throw is such a, an incredible tool in doubles, but hey, he didn't convert it into anything. The team is doing a really good job at uh, punishing the opponents right now. I mean, when one is getting hit, the other is just there for a dash tap, not, not really getting much out of it. He's not getting hit by anything big either. Just like jabs and grabs for like the last 30 seconds. Maybe it. Okay, good. Yeah, I am in his part and I think part, uh, not full part, but at least uh, the powerful one will be back. Oh, and just wastes it. Not enough stun on the follow up that Omika offered. And this might be bad because with all the rage that Diddy has. Oh, okay. Diddy's gone. Oh, Jaisan 1 0 2 versus 2. It's. Yeah. W when you have a kill throw in your 1 versus 2, it, it can be decent. Sadly, uh, Zard's up throw is the slowest move in the entire game. Could be. Oh, wow. Please. Please. Fire has beaten both of these players, actually, in singles already. Both times upsets. Okay, that's it. Yeah. Very, very composed. It's funny because uh, usually when you see Gluttony in doubles in these situations, he'll always go for a down throw uh, because it's basically Sonic's down throw, but even better. But uh, since earlier in the match, he did a down throw and Omika didn't react, he probably yeah. thought, okay, uh, he, he wants to press up air, so I'll give him an up throw and he can take it from here. Game three. A nice, nice adaptation, by the way, by Omika and Gluttony because uh, even though I, I give them the edge uh, right at the start when you tell me, yeah, they decided to go battlefield, at the beginning of the match it was still in uh, Neef's and uh, Fire's favor. 
but uh, at the end, what, what happened exactly? They, they took care of uh, Neef with a, an up smash, I think. Uh, when? Uh, I think at the end of the second match, they killed Neef with uh, like a, an up smash from Rosalina. Yeah, it, it was I think a big call. <laughs> Go to them. Um, like he lost his stock, and, and once once the GD is gone, like the the if the GD is left alone, he cannot kill, and if the Zard is left alone, he cannot land. So it was really a decisive point. Okay, so go back to battlefield. I'm a bit surprised. Okay, gets a reset. Story always goes the same way. Zard is put off uh, over uh, Rosalina, has to go back to the edge, and it is left alone to fight Gluttony. Which, uh, good thing for him, he does pretty good. He is forced to retreat. And immediately, when, when Omika went for the second up air and saw that it didn't connect, he didn't even try to uh, pressure fire. He just uh, immediately fast fell and uh, helped uh, Gluttony pressure Nif instead. Because he knew that fire had to reach to the edge. Lack of experience coming in, and it's it's really surprising to me because usually it's the other way around. It's like Gluttony will say one thing to his teammate before playing with them, even if it's the first time the team together. It's I will do down throw, so just charge and smash. And uh, Omika is the same. Like he, he says, okay, this is the move I will use, and you go for that, and it will kill. And just in this team, it's not working out. There's, there's a dropping stuff. Yeah, I guess it's because Rosalina is a really good up here instead of an up smash. Yeah. And they're getting confused about it. Ooh, I saw something else confusing was about to happen. Okay, just drops the fart between the two reds. Uh, uh, we haven't seen a single fart land. Yeah, I uh, expect one, but it didn't kill, so yeah. whatever. It's kind of like watching a, a falcon in singles because falcon is like so effective unless you throw, uh, until you throw me off stage and that he basically cannot do anything else until somehow he touches the ground again. It, it's the same thing with, with uh, Zard in doubles. When he's on the ground, he can do uppers and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. You're glad to have the Zard with you, but other than that, it doesn't touch the ground. Versions are so weird and not faster. 178. This could be it. No, no, Nif is not covering. What? He isn't covering for uh, fires. I, I guess he was afra afraid of. Uh, oh, because he need to buy the up throw. Yeah, so he didn't want to jump and fair, but he, he could have like at least dash attack or something. Yeah, that could have been a really good opportunity of. Uh, uh, preserving his fire rage and try to get rid of uh, Omika's stock uh, earlier. And instead, it's pretty hard. Even the gluttony, yeah, is getting bought like this. And their stock has gone so fast. Okay, the so grab will do it, obviously. He's the fart of deck. Okay, that was not the smartest of smash. Not undoable, but uh, Rosalina cannot even kill Didi at this point with that Luma, so she can only gain some time. Ha 
<laughs> my god. <laughs> Just unable <laughs> to leave this tiny corner of the stage. Okay, and oh, misses it finally when there's no real danger anymore. Fire finally drops one of the conversions. Will he go with down smash? Obviously he will. Nearly kill the fire. Uh, needs to. Oh, okay. that does it. Featherweight. That she is. Again, a bit surprised with how the game started compared to how it ended. Uh, especially when the... You know when the the up throw action happened? Yeah. Uh, it was like the, the red team was already at a deficit, so it was a chance to kill Gluttony and preserve fire stock. And I was like, okay, if this happens, they can probably take it. They can make it at least. And it, they didn't. The, uh, Neve didn't cover uh, fire, but they did take it in the end because Gluttony got wrecked for an entire, an entire stock. After the up throw, uh, I kind of stopped paying attention to him and watched uh, uh, Neve instead. And at one point, I, I checked Gluttony's uh, percentage, like 20 seconds later, and he was at 90%. Just didn't touch the ground. Fourth game, possibly the last game for Fire and Neef on their way to Grand Finals. I'm oh, sorry, Winners Finals. Blue team with the stage control. It's so funny to see Omika going for regular uh, Rosalina stuff, like the wall, you know, and just Gluttony going ham, going in with neutral airs and down airs, and you don't know what's happening. follow up on that throw, probably expecting a down throw, which is much slower and easier to react to, but it's too slow for doubles. Yep. High commitment from back throw. It's good bit. Uh, and again, Omika does not space himself correctly. Definitely could have been a dash up smash. Finally, yep. Finally, if someone drops a stock, it will be Neef. And Blizzony with momentum, just yeah, having fun. Some bikes at people. Gets it. I was about to say that he was a prime target for Gluttony's part when Gluttony had 199% and uh, Didi only had 40. Okay, this time gets it with a more traditional follow up. Bit late to hate fire, but better late than never. Oh, the chill. Yeah. Finally, only one person got hit by uh, parts for all this game, and it was only Luma. Red team is struggling, like, is that like getting uh, smothered by blue team? Just gonna make things happen. Finally, get some space. And the oh. key. Oh my! Oh! Another one! Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay, this opening seat back. Oh my god! I was like, oh no, it's Rosa Luna. She, she should make it back. And then the optimal, <laughs> optimal sour spot down there, which sends nowhere. And the dipping is a kill move. Still, kind of a bad situation altogether. 
beginning of stage, unable obviously to help fire against stage control. Oh, this is bad. Yeah, I was uh, watching the other set that we've seen with uh, Neef and Stream. He's rather liberal with his use of uh, side B in teams. It's happened like two or three times already. Only on stream that he's a uh, he's got fire with the side B grab. Uh oh. It's clipped. Yep, that's probably it. Oh. Yeah. yeah, that was good. Even though uh, Nif did manage to recover, well, was about to recover with his up B, uh, he, he wasted his uh, double jump on the leap under Battlefield, so he had no real option to try and change the timing of the up B. And Glittany has played so many uh, top players. Uh, Top DD players in France. We, uh, at one point, like two years ago, one year ago, we had Demos and Fogos, uh, who both live very close to him. So lots of experience. Last game, and this was actually, if I'm not mistaken, uh, I think they went back. Yeah, uh, we've had a first game on the Final Destination, and then all the other games on Battlefield. And that means at, at one point, Fire and Nifo are like, yeah, this is a good state for us. Well, apparently they changed uh, the lines for this last game. All winner semis. <laughs> All the stage control in the world already working differently. They're just hitting each other. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> one after the other. Like you get one hit in, and then you get hit back. Oh, nice! Went for the down smash. Wonder if he wanted the shield poke or even the shield break with a, a strong single hit. Oh, that was bad. Yeah. The, again, the, the lack of communication of, or, or, of experience between the two members of Blue Team. They both tried to cover Didi's landing. In the end, they both paid the price. Oh, was that kill? No. Okay. I've never seen that. <laughs> <laughs> right. Fire. A very healthy situation. Only 95%. Even though he didn't survive to like uh, one uh, 190 every stock, it's still a very healthy first stock. There's just enough rage to make dumb stuff happen. And he's still here. Okay. Yep. The partisan deck for all the game we've seen. As they got closer and closer, we still haven't seen a fart land. And it might be right now, but Nif does not panic. He wants it. <laughs> you can see Glutony jumping over them, waiting for them to drop the shield or just come into a spot dodge. Jump to Kim. Nope, not quite enough, but uh, in the meantime, while Gutani was recovering, Omika just lost his stock. Oh, the tapper coming from nowhere. And right now, it's looking like cushions, even though the fart is still on deck. So, with two traditional key moves, and then a nice combo to waft, it can still happen, but it needs to at this point. Funny, Fire is a, is a kind of guy who will go to... Oh, <laughs> nice tanking through the up smash with the super armor of rock smash. I was about to say, Fire is the kind of guy who will go with it for neutral as uh, in his combos just to try and extend uh, the string. 
But in doubles, uh, he'll end the string right away and go for up air instead of neutral air, even at low percent. The team is doing a good job at making it eye for an eye. Making sure that if they do take percent on their second to last stock, Blue Team does the same for the last stock. Okay. Oh, they're close. Now, he needs. I, I don't believe, to be honest, I don't believe, but it is Gluttony. Yeah. He needs to be the Gluttoniest he's ever been. Okay, bye. Yeah, I just waited for it. And go yeah. <laughs> so, we have Fire and Neef in winners' finals against Fatality and Griffiths, who have been just cutting through the competition with no contest. It's been absolutely brutal to watch. And in losers, I'm not sure. We'll probably have to wait. I'm not sure if losers will be streamed.